Hello, um, today I would like to show you how you can install one of our major software packages, the code software. All our software is available by download only, so you have to follow steps like this for all packages, but the steps are more or less the, the same. Um, everything starts here at our um, website www.mtice.com and uh, in order to download a package you go to support downloads in this case if you want to download code you go to code downloads a new page opens which has two sections uh, the first one is about a new installation that's what we are going to do now a completely new software installation if you have not worked with code before. Uh, below there is another section that explains how you can update an existing code package to a, to a newer version. I will explain later how that works. Uh, let's first do the, the full installation. Uh, actually we don't have to read because I will tell you what to do. The, the most important step is to download uh, a zip file. You get a link here with some information about its size and uh, the last update. So this is from the 5th of October uh, and it's object generation 4.74. That means the version of code here is 4.74. So if you click the link, you get a, a download file and you uh, just have to wait until the 90 megabytes are uh, have arrived on your computer. We can uh, skip this because I did the download before. So you can open your download page or your download folder. Uh, I'm sorry that this is a German uh, Windows version, but anyway, the folder is called Downloads. And here is what you have received. It's a zip file uh, called code.zip and uh, this contains everything that we need except the software license. I will come back to that in a few minutes. So the first action is to uh, enter the zip, code, uh, the zip file. It has um, a subfolder called code and this is a complete program configuration uh, folder that contains everything that we need. And actually, we just need to move this to your drive C. And uh, then you will, you will see that the Windows will copy all the files, about 2,000 files roughly. And there are many small files, which may take a while. So I will stop this here now and we can take, oh no, sorry, I cannot stop it now because it's, I, I need all those files. Uh, let's see how long it takes. It's, it promises only 10 seconds more, but I guess it will slow down uh, when the many small files of the database, uh, which contain material properties are copied. Once the um, zip file has been expanded, you will find a folder code on your hard disk C. We can open it and it contains basically all the files that code needs to run. Before we start code.exe, that's the actual program, uh, we can try if a little tool runs. We can try the tool digit.exe. That's an executable file uh, of a small uh, tool that helps you to digitize scientific graphs. It looks like this. So I, I will not um, explain how this software is operated. We just, I just want to make sure that this runs already because we don't need a license for this. Everybody can use this freely. Um, now we can try to run code by a double click here on code.exe, the executable file. And since we don't have a license, 
uh, code tells us now that it could not find the passport file. A passport file is a file that contains uh, the code license that tells basically code, uh, yes, you can run on this computer and for this user. Um, actually, we don't have a license file at all, so we cannot uh, search for one. So we have to say no here. And then code generates a little file which is called activation.bin and this file contains information about your computer and about you as a user and uh, you have to send us this file by email uh, so that we can generate your code license. So if, to make it easy for you you can press OK here and code will open Explorer automatically and Explorer will uh, mark this file hopefully um, maybe it's in the background yeah here here it is it has opened in a second Explorer window this file activation.bin uh, is the file I need to get from you by email okay now I since it's me, I will send this file to myself and in a few minutes I will be back with my license file. Okay, I received the, the license file uh, that was generated for this computer and for this user. That's called the activated license. It will only allow code to run on this computer and for this user. So you have you cannot run uh, code on a different machine with this license, and the, you get a, a small file called Code Passport from me by email, and uh, you have to copy this file. You can store it somewhere on your network folder. You can copy the file, and then you paste it into the Code folder. So this is Code where the executable is code.exe and into this folder you paste this is the German command for paste you paste the license file which is now here so when we now try to run code it will find this file and it will tell us that it will move the file so I will start code now it will now find this file and it will inform us that the passport file has been moved from the folder C code to a user folder, which is uh, well a special folder for you as a user. In my case, this is my name, it's my personal folder. And the reason is that code writes this license file permanently many, many times, and you are not allowed to write files without uh, explicit rights everywhere on your Windows system, but in your user folder, you can. So code can easily rewrite the file in this folder, and that's why we need to copy the license file to this folder. So we just press OK, and now code will hopefully run, uh, and the installation is more or less finished. OK. Here you see uh, that, that code, code runs. Actually, I have replaced already code uh, 4.74 with version 4.80. I will explain uh, in the next step how we will do that. But this is um, the running code program. To make it a little bit easier for you to, to start the software, you can generate a shortcut on your desktop uh, that's very easy. Um, let's say make, we can make some space. You can take the uh, code program here in the code folder uh, and drag it with the right mouse button held, hold down. So with the right mouse button you can drag it to your desktop and then use the option uh, generate a shortcut. And once you have a shortcut you can press F2 and I'll make a little name that reminds you what you have here. And from now on, you can double click this icon and code 
4.80 will start. Here it is. Okay. Okay, suppose you have done an installation already, um, then you can actually, you can follow the development of the code software by clicking here in the topics line at code. And what you then will see, you will find a kind of, of blog where I collect everything which is new. So you can follow how we develop the software. If you need one of the new features and uh, your license allows uh, the, the running of a new version, you can go back to the download page and get the latest version. How, oh, maybe I should explain you, how do you find out if you can get, if you are allowed to run a certain version, you can run your code that you have. Okay, you can execute the command uh, question mark about. And here you will have in line four, you will be notified free updates until, in this case, the end of 2018. So I will be able to run every code version which is generated in 2018 uh, with my license. So I don't need to ask for a new license. It, it will work if I download uh, before the end of the year. And uh, your your uh, specific code has also a kind of end period of free updates and you just, just look if you can still download a newer version. So once you have confirmed that, you go to support, downloads, code downloads, and there you go to the lower section, which is called updating an existing program version. And here you will find a smaller file, which contains usually only the executable file. Uh, so the code.exe. And it also tells you that it's shorter, 35 megabytes only. And when this last version has been deposited on our website for download. Okay, you click this and you will get a zip file uh, that you will find on your download page. So actually when this is done, we can take a look at the downloads here. Uh, when the file has arrived completely, it's this one, it's called code program zip. And if you open that, you get again, like we did before, you get a folder called code. Inside this folder, there are now two subfolders. One is called code program single instance. The other one is called code code program multiple instances and uh, this is a difference which uh, is only important for you if you use Olay automation which is a mechanism to remotely control the software for example by Excel or or by another um, uh, program maybe programmed by yourself even um, so you can remotely control many useful code functions and if you use this Oli automation mechanism, there are two ways how you can do that. Uh, opening a single instance Oli server or a multiple instances Oli server. Uh, in most cases, the single instance is the right one. Uh, if you don't do Oli automation, it doesn't really matter which one you take. But let's take the single instance version. So you open this folder, you get another code folder. And inside this, finally, 
you'll find the latest version of the ex executable code.exe uh, and sometimes I also add some new DLLs in this case these DLLs are not really new uh, they are already present on my computer so I don't need to copy those right now I just need to copy code.exe the, the latest program version so I copy that then I go to drive C folder code where we have done the installation of the complete package and then we paste the new code.exe file here we replace the the former version and now we have the latest code version which is available on our website uh, that's all so far for the installation of code so now you can start the actual work thanks for listening to this uh, video see you next time bye bye